I understand in astrology with all there, there's always a challenge we're presented with life, but what if we don't like step up to the challenge? Do you believe the challenge just keeps coming back in our lives or what happens when you fail <laughs> these challenges? Well, you know, it's interesting. And I would say that's one of the things that I see in hands where people use a lot, you know, steady amounts of drugs or alcohol mm-hmm. is they miss the opportunities Mm-hmm. And they miss, they may not feel the worst of it, but they don't get it, you know, they don't notice the transits. They're not really working mm-hmm. with the universe. Exactly. But when they're more awake and aware um, in some form, that if you miss the challenge, it will come around. You know, we're not going to get out of this work. Some lifetime it will be through. Mm-hmm. And, but the unique challenges of that time ask us to strengthen a muscle and that we can use those muscles later on. It asks us to expand some part of our brain or consciousness, and we can use that later on. To open our heart. It, we, do we, when any difficult event happens, we can respond either with more compassion and understanding, which helps us manage farther on down the line, or we can get more brittle and angry and resentful and not take responsibility for our part of it. And that's going to cause a different future. That's going to mm-hmm. really, you know, bring the troubles on down the line. Mm-hmm. And and I'd say that that's been the key that I see in how people respond to transits. Are they taking responsibility, not for somebody else's actions or criticisms or trouble, but for learning what they need to learn and growing to their best of their ability? It's not something we can judge from the outside. We don't know what the other person's walking through or what they've been through, but we can make that choice for ourselves. Right. Is that what you mean when you say choice-oriented astrology? Yes. Okay. That, that I'm hoping people will, to use this to help people to make the choices in their life, to see every fork in the road as mm-hmm. a chance to choose and Choose that, you know, choose that which will help them be their best self, have their best life, but also just grow forward in the way that their soul came here to do rather than feel battered about by life. I, I love that perspective and I completely agree with you on that because I we talk on this podcast a lot about how you always have the choice and how you respond to what happens in life and your, the challenges are here to help you grow. <laughs> They're here to help you learn something, no matter how hard or difficult they might be. So you, you do have to take responsibility for your life. Right. And that's where the maps, the symbol systems for palmistry, astrology, um, any form of divination can give you tools along the way. It can give you a map mm-hmm. to navigate that. It can't right. walk it for you. That's always up to you. <laughs> 